Hi everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com. Today I'm going to be working with the Estate Collection, which is a collection of actions that are meant for residential or commercial real estate listings. I shot over 130 houses last year in addition to my portrait business and it was definitely very profitable for me and so I'm trying to share some of my tips and tricks and certainly these actions for improving your images. So this is an inside shot and you can see that it's a little bit underexposed and um, there's not much that you can do about that with residential listings unless you bring in a ton of soft boxes and stuff like that but I do manage to do most houses that are pretty good size between 2,000 and 3,000 square feet in about 30 minutes and so I'm able to do a lot more business. So let's just look at our actions here. All-in-one cleaning lady is going to give you a nice clean image to work on. Sell this house is a good interior action. Exterior shots for outside and get creative is really for outside or for inside if you want some kind of a special effect on your image. For this image, I'm going to use all in one cell this house, so I'm going to select that. Elements users, you're going to double click the thumbnail that you find in your photo effects palette. I'm going to press play and let it play through the layers. Okay, so you can see that it immediately changes the image. We want to go through the layers to make sure that we are getting the best effect out of the action. Sharper image, you can see makes the image much sharper. Lighten the mood, lightens the room. Bleach gives it a nice crisp pop. The color boost will boost the colors. All of this looks good, good to me. If I was clicking this on and off and something did not look good, then I would modify that layer. Contrast, I think the contrast is a little bit heavy. So I'm going to click on this layer and take down the master opacity slider. I'm just going to take it way down and then bring it back up to a level that looks reasonable to me. I think 56% looks pretty good. That shadow under the bed right here is a little bit much so I'm going to brush that off. So this is a white layer mask. I'm going to select my brush tool here. And I want to make sure that I choose the opposite color. This is white, so I'm going to choose a black brush. Right now the foreground color is set to white. I'm going to click these arrows to change it to black, and now I have a black brush. I'm just going to brush this off a little bit. Now my brush opacity is set to 20%. I'm going to take it up to 60% and just paint down that shadow a little bit a little bit too much. Let's just check it again and see what else is going on. Over here it looks a little bit too dark so I'm just going to paint that off. Okay that looks pretty good to me. Black or blacks? Let's check that one. I think in this room we can just take that off altogether. So I just hid this layer by clicking on the eye. Now it's on and now it's off. Reduce the reds. I find that in interior images sometimes a really warm tone is unavoidable and especially in bathrooms and so I like to take that, take that down a little bit. But let's just check and see what it's doing. So I'm going to take it off and put it back on and actually this room is not too warm and so I don't need reduce the reds. I'm going to leave that one off. Now you have three layers here with black layer masks. Each one you want to go ahead and paint with a white brush. Right now we're working with a black brush. So I've selected my brush tool. I'm going to switch the arrows and use a white foreground color. Now I have a white brush. So if I want to brush on a little bit of extra color, I select this black layer mask and then I can paint in 
a little bit of extra color. You can see that the bedspread really pops a little bit. Maybe we can bring that up. I don't really want to draw attention to anything else in the room because this is a little bit of clutter here. Maybe we can make the cow just a little bit brighter. Not too much though, so I'm going to use a 20% brush and paint over this little beanbag chair right here. So let's look at it before brush on color. This is before, it's a little bit gray. And this is after I brushed on the color. So you could use the light brush if something looked a little bit too dark to you. Let me just show you how that would work. I have a brush tool with a white foreground color and I would just brush over a large section at a time. Sometimes ceilings can be a little dark. I'll just take that and make things a little bit lighter. Just hit this area right over here. Okay, so you can see before I used the light brush, it's a little bit dark. After I used the light brush, it's much lighter. Okay, I'm going to leave that off for now because I'm going to show you another action in just a second that is very helpful. Dark brush, I'm not going to use that in this instance. It works the same as the light brush, only it makes things dark. And I find that helpful if I have a nice view outside that I want to make a little bit darker and uh, bring it in just a little bit more. So I'm not going to use the dark brush. So I do want to show you banish the cobwebs because that's a good one and I find it very helpful. I'm going to go ahead and flatten this image so that I can run that action. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select Banish the Cobwebs and press play. Okay, so you can see that this immediately took away a lot of those shadows that are a problem. In real estate photography, you really want to have nice, crisp, bright images. And so all of these shadows in the corners, the corners of the ceiling, all of this over here is very dark. Under the bed is very dark. When I play Banish the Cobwebs, it immediately takes care of that. So my only problem is that it lightens the outside just a little bit. You can use a dark brush or you can just brush it off using the layer mask. Sometimes though, um, you run into a problem where it darkens the blinds or the trim just a little bit, so you have to be kind of careful. So let's just brush that off really quick. I have a black brush selected on a 20% opacity. I'm going to take that up to 40%. And I'm going to be careful when I'm brushing off this effect. In real estate photography, you really want to make sure that you're capturing the outside as well as the inside. You don't want to have blown out photos, so you definitely don't want to compromise the scenery outside for lightening the shadows inside, so sometimes you do have to take that off. But let's just take a look. This is before we ran Banish the Cobwebs, and this is after. And so this image now is ready to roll. So it's fast and it's easy and it definitely really helps. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find all of our products at www.magicandlightcollection.com.